We are now going to meet Sports Illustrated model, Katrina Scott. Katrina, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you so much for having me. Oh, it's so awesome to have you. And thank you for sharing your journey with us to help others. So, and congratulations on the pregnancy, about to have a baby. I know you can't see here, but I'm extremely pregnant. (laughs) Waddling around, sweating, wearing pajama pants because nothing else fits right now. (laughs) Tell us a little bit about your fertility journey. Uh, It's been a journey for sure. Uh, My husband and I actually met when we were 19 and 20. And you would think that we probably would have, you know, we knew we wanted to be together uh, and maybe we would have started a family, but instead we started businesses and we worked together as well. So we found a tone it up and um, I, and he does our product development. And it was one of those things where I think when you are, when you're in something and then you think about being a parent, I really want, we wanted a family, but I said to myself, you know, I want to be able to be a hundred percent mom. And what I realized Mm -hmm. is that you can do a lot of things and still be a hundred percent mom. I'm a hundred percent mom right now, right here with you. And, and I think that that's important for us to know is that it's never necessarily the right time. And right. you know, your heart expands, your life expands and you figure it out. And so, um, we didn't know that we waited, uh, mm-hmm. and now we are 38 and my husband is about to turn 40. We had our first daughter, um, in our early thirties and that was, you know, she, we had her naturally, I would say. Mm-hmm. And then, mm-hmm. uh, and then when we tried for a second, um, we did get pregnant, but we lost that pregnancy, Um, and then we lost another pregnancy, uh, during COVID Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. I had to miscarry, um, actually had to do a DNC at the hospital alone during that time. Mm -hmm. And, and so, and then after that, we tried one more time, we did get pregnant, but it was a chemical pregnancy, which is really, um, short, short lived. And so I talked with my doctor and uh, we're very, very lucky that we have access to fertility treatments. And we talked about, you know, uh, freezing your eggs or freezing your embryos, pretty much the same thing. Mm-hmm. If you, if you freeze your eggs, um, that's amazing. And then if you have a partner that, you know, you want to have children with, then you can freeze your embryos together. And she said, I know that you want a family. And so I think that this would be a great option for you. And that is a very shortened version of our long, I know. Yes. Fertility journey. So, well, so let's talk about this because I know that you and your husband did go through so much. I mean, having to do the injections in your stomach and as you said, losing the children and the babies. And, and so what did that do to you? I mean, we can already see the physical part, but what did that do to you mentally? Everyone always asks, actually, you know, were the shots really hard? Was it hard? Um, you know, did it hurt and things like that? And I don't remember any of it hurting physically, but mm-hmm. what it, it was just really difficult to actually just go through. It was, it was difficult to take those first steps in a fertility clinic and say, I need help and I need answers. Mm-hmm. Uh, if, if anyone's watching and you're like, what am I going to do when you pull up in that car? you're on your own or with your partner, or you're making a decision to freeze your eggs, um, or to find something that's maybe happening, you know, getting out of that car and making those steps is, is mentally very difficult, but I promise everyone wants, there's, everyone wants to help. And that's the most beautiful thing. And when I would look around the waiting room, I would see other couples and other women going through the exact same thing. So yeah, you create community as well, because you're, you're all in it together. And so, uh, yeah, going through the egg retrieval, it's a couple weeks. Um, and then depending on how many egg retrievals you do, um, each one is, it takes a couple weeks of shots and then, uh, and then they obviously eggs out, (laughs) um, like going in, I, I didn't know. And so I think the emotional part was the hardest part because it doesn't look how you, it doesn't look how you learned about like sex ed (laughs) growing up where, Yeah. You have sex, you get pregnant. (laughs) And so, so one of the things that I want to talk about, and it just shows the strength of the woman that you are, Katrina, is you actually 
walked the runway when you were going through this. So let's talk a little bit about that and what that was like for you, because I know you wanted to show women that no matter what, you're beautiful as you are. And so that's incredible. So please tell us about that. So I started working with Sports Illustrated Swimsuit uh, during 2020, and they were aware of a lot of the things that I was experiencing. Um, and they were, they gave me a reason to pop out of bed in the morning. My husband would like DJ these workouts and I would teach live workouts with them. And so they were very much there for me uh, during all of that. And I was so taken back and so grateful and just overjoyed that they said, hey, we would love for you to be in the upcoming issue. And, mm -hmm. and you know, you always think about it in your 20s. <clears throat> and now that I'm close to 40, I'm like now, but I, I feel like there's no better time than now at this time in my life to say, this is when I would love to represent her. So the woman at home that maybe feels like it's too late for her, the woman yeah. at home that is like, oh, is it, is it too late for me to wear a swimsuit? Um, and, you know, should I just cover up when I go to the beach or to the pool this summer, things like that. And so mm -hmm. I was like, yes. And then when they asked me to walk the runway, I had just gone through my egg retrieval and then also a surgery. And so I was extremely mm. bloated. I didn't necessarily feel like myself. And mm. in a different time, maybe, you know, years ago when there's more perfectionism or more pressure that I would put on myself, I was like, yeah. And I still had some yeah. bruises and, and I didn't, you know, I wanted to show up as I was. And I think saying yeah. yes to whatever it is, putting on the swimsuit, yeah. walking, whether it's the runway or into that water, and just being proud of where you are at in your life right now as a woman, no matter what battles yeah. you're going yeah, through. Yeah, I mean, Katrina, I mean, it just seems like for so many years you've been inspiring women. And you know, thank you for that because we need that. So let's just talk about really quickly um, Baby Quest. You are the ambassador to Baby Quest because we know, or maybe we don't know, how expensive this can be. So why is this so important to you? When women shared their stories, it was, I'm praying for you. How, how blessed are you that you have access to that? And I'm thinking like, this is such a privilege that we mm -hmm. can do this. And it was out of pocket for us. Uh, and sometimes it's covered. Sometimes certain things are covered. And a lot of times it's not. And so when we think about young women dedicating their careers to, you know, um, a company or going to uh, long years of school or whatever it is, or she hasn't met her partner yet, um, you know, we do have a biological clock. And so ha having access to being able to freeze your eggs is, it's not even buying yourself time. It's, it's saying that, I want to have a family and I'm going to make sure that I can do that for myself. Because if you want to have a family and you want to have children someday, then you absolutely deserve that. And yeah. so after hearing from all these women, I started researching um, anybody that was helping people so I could start referring them to an organization. And when I found Baby Quest, I followed them follow them for a little while and I reached out and the founder Pamela uh Pamela Hirsch is amazing she's so sweet she literally called me back that that day she's like yeah. let's do something together and I said I I want to be able to share my story but I also want to be able to share an organization like yours that makes it possible for women um because that was really important to me and not only women but men that go through this mm -hmm. and same-sex mm -hmm. couples and people that want to be parents and then, and then also individuals. And so a lot of times, uh, you know, fertility treatments are not covered if you are on your own. So as a woman, if you want to freeze your eggs, some, uh, most of the time it's out of your own pocket. And, and mm -hmm. I think that that's something that we should all have access to. So I do yeah. know that we've come a long way and thanks to women like Pamela that, you know, for creating foundations that do this, it's really incredible. 
Well, Katrina, I, I hate that we're out of time and there's so many more questions I wanted to ask, but yeah. I want to thank you for sharing your story and the work you're doing with Baby Quest to help others. And where can we find you or if somebody has a question or just wants to reach out to you? Yeah, I'm at Katrina Scott on Instagram. Uh, and my website is Live Beautifully, where I share my personal fertility journey. And you can always work out with me as well in my Tone It Up app. And I love hearing from people. So whoever is watching right now and wants to reach out, I'll talk to you soon. <laughs> Fantastic. Katrina, thank you so much for coming on Wake Up yeah. and being so open and honest with us. Yeah, thank you so much. I'll talk to you soon.